example 5 for 2.3, it says let f of x equal negative 2x plus 6, find the real solution of f of x equals 0, and then graph f of x. All right, first off, this first direction. Okay, you might recall from Friday when I was um, going through example 4, we were supposed to find the value of x in the domain of f of x such that f of x equals some number, right? Mm. That's what they're asking you to do there. They want f of x to equal 0 given this function f of x. So they want to find out what values of x make that true. All right, so all I got to do if f of x is supposed to equal 0 and f of x equals this expression is set that expression equal to 0. Because right. again, it says f of x equals 0. There's f of x, set it equal to 0 equals the expression. So if I equal like 2, you would just say If that said zero. 2, this would say 2 equals that expression. So whatever f of x equals, you let the function f of x equal that number. Right? So negative 2x plus 6 equals 0. So if I move the 2x over, I get 6 equals 2x. Divide both sides by 2, I get x equals 3. All right, now, a couple things I want to point out to you right here. You know, I'm, I'm going to point out to you in a minute after we graph. We can start, start making connections, hopefully. Next thing it asks me to do is to graph f of x. f of x is a linear function. If you recall what I told you last week when you start getting these f of x's happening, f of x is just a fancy way of saying y. So f of x is the y coordinate. So if I were to write this in y terms, y equals negative 2x plus 6, you should recognize that as a linear function y equals mx plus b. The b value, the y-intercept of 6, tells me it's at, on the y-axis or the f of x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces up. There's a dot. And then the slope of negative 2 tells me from any dot on the graph, which 6 is, 0, 6 is a dot on the graph, if I go down 2 and write 1, I get another point. Go down 2 and write 1, I get another point, and so on. I connect those dots with a straight line. Now, going back to Algebra 1 and Algebra 2, we quite often focused on the y-intercept. We never really looked very closely at the x-intercept very much in those classes. We really focused on the y-intercept having to do with graphing. And x-intercept is the same idea as the y-intercept, just where does it cross the x-axis. So here's the x-axis, here where the line, here's where the line crosses, this dot right here. And what's the x-value there? What's the point? 3, comma, 0, right? All right x equals 3. So the x-intercept is equivalent to the place where the function's value is 0. Okay, that's not a coincidence. That should always happen. Because if f of x equals 0 and y is f of x, right, and x equals 3, when y equals 0, it creates an ordered pair. The x-value you found paired with the value of y equals 0 because that's what y equals right there, right? Am I losing the Right. So, let's compare the solution of f of x equals 0 with the x-intercept of the graph of f. They should always be the same. The x-intercept should be equivalent to the x-value when, when f of x equals 0 because they represent the exact same thing. X-intercepts occur when y equals 0. When y equals 0 and you solve for x, you should find the x-intercept. All right, so that's that. Um, every type of function you've dealt with so far this year, that'd be absolute value functions, quadratic functions, making parabolas, uh, linear functions, making straight lines, all those are fair game in this section. All right, so um, if it's asking you to graph anything, they're being asking you to graph stuff you've graphed before. If you don't know how to graph something, pick X, solve for Y, plot the points, connect the dots. Use your calculator to help you evaluate it. All right, so if you can't remember how to graph something, or if it's some type of function, you're like, I don't know how to graph that, pick x, solve y plus points, connect the dots. All right, it'll make a graph. All right, and um, you should be able to establish that the x-intercept is equivalent to where f of x equals 0 every time, because that's what should happen.